So again guys, we're gonna put a bass line just above the ears and about a finger which is above the ears and we're gonna drop it all with the back and then follow that by using a shaver to ball that. Shaver I'm using at the moment guys, the new and is fully shaver available on a link on my Instagram bio, the 10% discount. And I'm just going to continue using a circular motion to board out the bottom bit without leaving any harsh line that would take us time to remove afterward. Again guys, this is the number one and a half and it's open. And then number one and a half fully close. point guys all we want to do is to blend from zero to a number one and a half doing that by using the metal classic guard and we skip the 0.5 guard I'm gonna use a descending method at this point maybe use a number one metal classic guard and it's fully open to blend right to the a number one and a half close Number one close. The blade open. And then blade fully close. that's pretty much faded guys and it's only took me less than a minute to do this fade by using just a metal classic guard and a blade fully open and close so we use a descending method and we went from one and a half uh, close all the way to zero but using a metal classic guard at this moment all I'm doing is just detailing or doing a touch up also still using just another one I'm not going to use the 0.5 guard at all on this fade All we got left at this moment, guys, we got the very bottom skin line, which is I'm going to use the trimmer. The same trimmer that I used to set the baseline is the one that you would use to remove the last bit of the skin line.
So as you see guys here, it's pretty much faded and it's only took me less than a minute to do this side of the fade using this method, which is descending method. And I will only use the classic metal guard to, just to fade down from the one and a half close all the way to the skin line. So I'm just gonna turn chair guys at this. Nah, I don't think I'll be covering this bit. Here. Just drop. There you go. Oh. We're following the same method, guys, using a metal classic guard to descend. Use a descending method, and we using a metal classic guard. Then the same thing at the back to so connect the fade on the back, and that will be uh, the last step that we'll be doing on this fade. So as you know guys, I've always used the scissors to point cut the dark spots that on my fade to make sure the fade is clean as possible. And to do that, use the scissors and literally point cut the spots that you see. So as you see guys here, this is our final result for today and I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and please do like and comment if you enjoy my content and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel for a weekly tutorial and I'll see you on my next tutorial guys. Thank you so much for watching.